Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kausal Wise and this is the continuation video of Cost of Capital. You can find the playlist link in the description box to get the full collections. Okay. Now in this video, we are going to see the next component that is a weighted average cost of capital. Now let's see the problem. See the problem. Weighted average cost of capital. Following information is available with regards to the capital structure of X limited. See here under particulars, they have given the capital structure of the company. The capital structure is debentures 15 lakhs, preference share capital 5 lakhs, equity share capital 10 lakhs, retained earnings 20 lakhs. Okay, so this is the present capital structure and they have given the after tax cost of capital also for each and every component of capital. Okay, so here debenture is 8 percentage, preference share capital 12 percentage, equity share capital 15 percentage, Retained earnings 12 percentage. If this value is not given means you have to find out each and every component according to the given formula. Okay. For that you can refer the previous video collections to find out how to calculate the cost of debentures, preference, equity and retained earnings. But in this problem they have given everything. Now we are going to see only how to calculate weighted average cost of capital if all the components are given in the problem. Okay. So, you are required to calculate weighted average cost of capital. Now, see the solution. Statement showing weighted average cost of capital. So, these are the information given in the problem. Sources, debentures, preference share capital, equity share capital, retained earnings and after tax cost also given in the problem. 8%, 12%, 15% and 12%. Okay. So, with this information, we are going to find out the weighted average cost of capital for that first we need to find out the weights for each and every component okay so how to find out the weights each component divided by total okay you'll be getting weights for each and every component that is the so 15 by 50 you'll be getting 0.30 5 by 15 0.10 10 by 50 0.20 20 by 50.40. Okay. After finding the weights of each and every component, just multiply with the after tax cost in order to get the weighted cost. Okay. So 0.30 into 8, 2.4. Next, 0.10 into 12, 1.2. Next, 0.20 into 15, 3. Next, 0.40 into 12, 4.8. So, this is the way to calculate weighted cost of each and every component. Now, get the total. You will be getting 11.4%. So, this is the weighted average cost of capital. 11.4%. So, this is the way to calculate weighted average cost of capital. You can check the playlist link in the description box to get the full video collections. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.